Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Ilkay Gondogan who was officially announced today by Barca as we are going to be discussing on the jersey numbers that Ilkay Gondogan could wear at Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this Turkish sensation Ada Guler as it has been reported that the soon-to-be director Deco is trying his best to convince the player to join Barcelona, as Barca still have high hopes of bringing him to the Camp Nou. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video. And please watch it right up to the very end. After what seemed an endless wait, Barcelona finally announced the signing of Ilkay Gondogan earlier today. The arrival of the treble winning captain on a free transfer will go down as one of the window's best deals and perhaps a historical one for the club itself. Along with the announcement of his signing, however, comes the question surrounding the number he would done at Barcelona. After all, there are not too many kit numbers left in Xavi Hernandez's squad. As it stands, there are seven numbers for the German maestro to choose from. Neither the number 8 jersey, which he wore with Manchester City, nor the number 21 that he dons with the German national team is available. With the chances of Pedri or Frankie de Jong forfeiting their numbers highly unlikely, Gundogan will have to settle for a new number that he has never won before. The options left on the table are number 2, number 3, number 5, 12, 14, 16 and 18. Why it appears that Ilkay Gundogan is spoiled for choice a more pragmatic look would reveal that his choices are in fact limited. After all, the numbers 2 and 3 are usually associated with defenders. In that sense, the number 5 kit recently vacated by Barcelona legend Sergio Busquets stands out. After all, it is only fitting that a captain's shoes be filled by another treble winning captain. Gondogan will not be the one to wear the armband for Barca next season. Yet, with his experience and quality, he will undoubtedly be one of the leaders on the field over the next few years. In that sense, the number 5 for Ilkay Gondogan may be a match made in heaven. Of other options, the number 18 also stands out as a JC with rich history. After all, it was only recently vacated by one of the club's best left-backs, Yodi Alba. Of course, Ilkay Gundogan was finally announced after the deal was done. Barca had to announce it today um, officially that the deal is done and the details of that deal was all written out. Ilkay Gundogan coming after a very, very successful season at Manchester City under Pep Guardiola where they won the treble. And what a signing for Barcelona and hoping that he will continue to bring in that brilliant display we have been seeing from him at his time at Manchester City, where he has played there for seven good years. Ikai Gondogan coming to Barca after Barca's struggle to push for the move. It wasn't an easy thing, as Saudi Arabians make tempted offers. Um, City themselves were convincing him to renew contract, and most of all, Arsenal were pushing and pushing for the player to join them, but to no avail, as the, Barca, as the player had already made his mind clear that Barca or nothing. We can even hear from his recent interview he made just after the transfer was was announced today by Barca. He wrote on Twitter that it was either Barca or nothing. So it was something that was already decided ever since. No matter what City did to convince him to renew, there was no way he could have done that. So this report is likely talking about the possible Jesse numbers, the kits, the number of the, the Jesse kits that he might wear, which number is available. Honestly, the numbers that he currently wears at the um, Germany national team and the ones he wore at Man City last season is not even available. It is already occupied. But it, I very much doubt if he will come to anybody in the squad currently and say, please give me this shirt or please give me that shirt. 
I don't think it will make sense. Honestly, maybe he's not a Messi, he's not a Ronaldo to to have to be entitled to a particular number. I don't think he's that kind of a guy, by the way. I think Ilkay Gundogan will just go with whatever number he feels is good for him. But I think most likely he can go with the number five shirt as Sergio Busquets have left. And we know that even though he's not a direct replacement for Busquets, you know, but wearing that number five, I think it will be a match made in heaven. As I earlier said, he was a cap he is a captain. Even though he's coming to Barca, he will not be the captain, but he has that captain spirit in him. He is the one who captained City for how many years before they won this treble last season. And I think a captain living in a number five shirt, you know, I'm talking about Busquets, will also make sense that another captain in the past seasons coming to take that shirt. I think for me, taking the number five shirt would be a brilliant idea, but it all depends on the player at the end because he can come and take any other shirt, but... Let's see how it goes, but how I wish he can take that five shirt. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. According to AS, Deco's first job at Barcelona as a technical secretary will be to go head to head with Madrid for the acquisition of this Turkish sensation, Ada Guler. It has been reported that the 18 year old attacking Mitiola, who scored six goals in 35 appearances for Turkish giants Fenerbahce last time out. He has a release clause now at 17.5 million. A left footed attacking midfielder by trade with an eye for goal and vision. Ada Gulur has been tipped for the Turkish by the as Turkish Messi by many people in his homeland. For the moment, many top teams are said to be trying so hard to convince the player to join them, and Barca happens to be one of those clubs. The mention fee at which the young prodigy is available is well within Barca's reach and it is said that the management is considering him as a perfect market opportunity. At the same time, those sitting in the Blaugrana offices also understand that his performance has not gone unnoticed. At the moment, many top teams have approached him with an offer including Real Madrid. The 18-year-old wants to leave Turkey right away and Deco will have to approach him accordingly. Deco being the main guy in the sporting department now for Barca, seems to be heading the operation that he must take sure, make sure Barca provide the young player with everything that he is asking for. Interestingly enough, as reported before Deco, who, has, who was thought to be Jody Cruyff's replacement, has assumed a more bigger role than his predecessor. When it comes to transfer dealings, Deco will make all the big decisions and his initial task is to identify specific players that could help the team next season. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.